I have made a registration form uh, following uh, uh, exactly uh, uh, the directions from uh, or chart documentation. Which is workflow or custom controller? Yeah, workflow. This is a workflow, okay. Yeah. Uh, so. And and you used the form module to do that, or you use your a custom view? Uh, this is the form module. I can show you later. Mm -hmm. uh, except the this one, the these two, the select field and the radio button fields, that uh, instead of being uh, controls are raw HTML. Okay. But there is a widget for that, so you just added a widget raw HTML and it works. Exactly, exactly. In the form. Okay. Uh, so register and pay. It's expensive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, it, it is. Well, it's free for, for us. <laughs> okay. And, uh, so that goes to your web app or to an external? And this is, uh, goes directly to, uh, hopefully, to the workflow endpoint. Uh, well, okay, integration error. You can minimize that thing. It won't stop. Yeah. Minimize it. Yeah. Good. Okay. Um, so, okay, someone played with Stripe. Anyway, not a successful demo. <laughs> not a bug in Orchard, at least. That's good. No, no, it's not <laughs> in Orchard. So, uh, let me what? show you the screen and the, the flow. That's so, what was supposed to happen? The, the endpoint that you trigger when you hit submit goes to workflow? Exactly. Okay. And uh, then a new. Um, so a new participant is registered. Okay. Uh, with uh, all uh, the the fields that. Uh, that you find, okay. It's a content okay. item. A, a content item. Uh, a mail was sent. Let's, let me show you the workflow. Wow. You can even send emails with workflow. Ship yeah. Or so. <laughs> <laughs> Not to say something. I'm very pleased. Okay. Ship loves it. Look at that, yeah. look at that. You, this is the first time I see a workflow more complex than what Sipke can do. Yeah, it's true. Yes. <laughs> it's, uh, it's sweet. Sipke, it's great. <laughs> so, our registration form, we bind the model, the form model just to keep the values in case of uh, error. We have some validation rules. Uh, Recapsa, uh, VD number, email, and I, will, and I will also uh, congratulate uh, Mathis for the recapture part of it because I assume that Sim that did that. Yeah. Epic. Epic. <laughs> Epic. <laughs> okay. So after validation on the form, uh, we have a fork with uh, two branches, one registration form email, the second uh, is uh, the enrollment in our system. And then we have a redirection to uh, to Stripe. Good. So uh, it's not working, but yeah. Uh, yeah but I like, hope tomorrow so, it will. So you work. send a request to Stripe, then Stripe will, when it validates the the payment, will send you back to the website on the exactly. Right. Exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So, so I have a question. Have, yeah. Maybe for you, maybe for Sipke. Do we have an activity that will be send a request, but without redirecting the user, like from the Orchard website, execute a web request, a web hook, and wait for the response and then act based on that? Yes, that's uh, that's a send. I don't know the exact name here anymore, but uh, there's a activity that allows you to do exactly that. It's okay. like an HTTP client. And I should yeah, that's the one. also do that. So yes, because here you didn't take any information for paying anything. That's why you forward to the Stripe website such that 
you can go to a page to file a payment and then you will add your payment information there and Stripe will go back to your site with a confirmation code and then you will know, okay, the user has validated this payment. So I assume you have another workflow for that to validate the payment? Yeah, it's uh, it's going to be one with okay. the Stripe uh, uh, reference number. Yes, and will it be the same workflow where you are waiting for a response like a webhook or or will you create, well, that's, yeah, it's, it's a, the same workflow. It will be a different one, I think. Okay. Because, uh, I'm not sure that uh, this yeah, yeah, HTTP it, redirect. Yeah, I assume it could, it could be the same workflow because you could say after HTTP redirect, wait for this webhook. The same yeah, way you would that put should it. work because it's not going to do immediately the, uh, it's not after the HTTP redirect, it won't actually send that response immediately. It will, you will still be able to finish this current request which means you should be able to navigate or uh, transition into a next blocking activity that would be waiting for. Um, yeah, the hook. Uh, for, the hook. Yes, for the webhook, for the HTTP uh, event. Okay, and uh, the tricky part that uh, the, uh, the Gitter helped me, uh, this is the, the create code new task. <laughs> that uh, I have to pass uh, this uh, JSON in order to, to register a new uh, content item. Um, this, this is great with liquid support. Liquid is the best. Yeah. <laughs> so what will, you be be what will you do better in this case? I have, I have some ideas, but how could you improve that thing? Well, I think that uh, this content type should generate this uh, ah, uh, the template the direction. we could yeah we it could generate you the the object that you can just update by yourself so you don't have to 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 figure out what it could be yeah yeah I see Sipko what what I mean why didn't you think about it <laughs> I actually <laughs> thought about it but more in a more complicated way where it would actually render a user friendly UI. But uh, that's you know even fetch. more far fetched. But that suggestion to just generate the template that's that's perfect. Yeah. So I, I mean maybe not as perfect, but at least doable. Yeah, I have another suggestion actually, um, which is not to use JSON templated JSON, but just to use JavaScript, and and but take the same ID and say return um, an object like you take this object, but as JSON notation and you say return, so you can do J JavaScript instead of templated JSON. See, hmm. so you will say text colon and you will say request.form.firstName but not as a template but as a property because request will be a property of the uh, JavaScript script in this case. So That's the benefit different. being less quotes? Yes, and then you can also do code there. Like you can compute values, you can right. do loops, you can do whatever you want to generate an object or do multi-phase changes in the same object. Like first do dot content type equals enrollment and then do uh, if author equals admin then uh, enrollment and first name the text equals that and things like this. So, but the idea being it's like a script task, but the result would be a content item. So you do return the content item. Okay. But I'm not sure it's better. I I, uh, I like I like the idea of the template and then you change what you need and yeah. Mm -hmm. I think this, this is uh, pretty straightforward. So, mm. yeah, that's of course true. If you would, if it were JavaScript, then you could, in the simplest form, just return a JSON object uh, with a slightly easier syntax because you don't need to use the quotes. But yeah. Okay, and uh, this is the registration form. Uh, with uh, all the elements. Uh, this is the select that there is a file. Uh, th there is an, an issue in uh, GitHub. You we'll have to check. And this is the radio button. Everything else is uh, pretty straightforward. The recaps as well. So, yeah. So, actually, I have to say that uh, writing a very little code uh, 
this site is uh, live and uh, and working fast, 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 and uh, uh, yeah, we have Stripe payments, we have everything. Okay, and I assume it was easier than Orchard One. Huh? Sorry. It was easier to build than with Orchard One. Uh, it was easier. <laughs> you can say no. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was easier due to this factor um, here. That uh, I built a. Uh, this form with uh, speakers and uh, everything. OK, yeah, the back part helps a lot here because yeah, it's... so this is helps a lot actually to, to, to make a, a, a single page. Uh, yeah, embedded content active. where you can add more sections dynamically. It will have been a pain before because you will have to reference content items. Yeah, and uh, I think that the, the name part is uh, quite a great idea. OK. Yeah, I'm proud of it, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those are. Uh, this uh, item. And you're using localization also? Uh, there is a localization, but uh, they will not uh, yeah. Yeah, use it. That's, so, a big, that's a big content type. Yeah, and it's uh, actually, yes. And all these are, most of these are named parts. OK. OK. That's uh, so, all. Thanks. That's, so, that's yeah. very nice. To it's a stripe, but uh, it's, it was a stripe configuration, not an orchard no, one. Trust you. That's interesting to see how to integrate <laughs> stripe that you can do it with workflow already.